All right, what's up, guys? So the first version of uh, Zamporta 2 was released to the public yesterday. And I'm putting this video together to show first-time setup of Zamporta 2 and how easy it is to customize your Zenforo websites to make it look unique. All right, and I'm going to do this using uh, a website which isn't very active, yocapit.tv. I use it for a specific service. I allow other people to use it, but that's pretty much it. All right, so it's a pretty empty forum. I only have uh, a couple of nodes, and uh, that's about it. All right, so let's say we have just finished installing Zamporta 2. That's easy. You just click run the install script. All right, so right now this is almost completely pure. None of the options have been set. The only thing I did was promote these three articles into the articles list. That's it. So these three have been promoted. It's very easy to promote in the uh, thread tools. Just go to promote the article. And then you click uh, promote the article, and it appears on the promotion list, which is right here. Uh, that, that's simple. But what this video is going to be about is setting up your layouts with the widget framework. Right now, you'll notice there are no widgets. That's because I haven't enabled them. So if we go to the our admin control panel for Zamporta 2, there's a whole bunch of series of options. It's a pretty long page. Uh, the only thing I'm going to be concerned about right now for the widget framework is this top area right here. Enable widget framework is the important part. And you'll notice right now nothing is enabled. And I'm going to leave it disabled for now. All right. So when you install Zamporta 2, it's going to pre-install a single layout called article list with the layout ID article list. If, if I click on it, it has also pre-installed five blocks onto it. These five blocks are the same blocks that you get on your forum home. Now, right now, this isn't the widget framework. This is just the, uh, the blocks. This is just uh, Zen for default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, all right. There are currently six widgets installed. I actually just installed this one. So let's uninstall it. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back to options. And I'm going to enable the widget framework for the articles list. Click Save. And now let's go back to the articles list. And there we go. We now have a widgets. There's also the uh, recent thread widgets. And there are no threads to display, so it's currently empty. No one posts on this forum, so there's never going to be any threads to display. All right, and, and that's it. Now I have a widget framework enabled for the articles list. And I can go back to my layout, and I can move things around. Let's actually, let's disable that completely. Let's have some fun. Whoops. And move everything to the left side. As you can see, it's a nice drag and drop interface. And we refresh. Hey, look at that. It's all on the left side instead of the right. Ooh, that's nice. All right. So that's simple. Now we go to forums, and it's still using the, this is the forum list. It's still using the built-in Zenforo sidebar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to options. And I'm going to enable the widget framework for the forums list. And while I'm at it, the article view and the authors list. So if I go to an article right now, once again, no sidebars. Now this articles list uh, layout, the default one that's pre-installed, is actually the fallback layout for these top four areas. So if you enable the widget framework for these top four areas and you don't uh, add your own um, customized layouts for it, it will fall back to articles list. So let's do that. There we go. Now we have an article. Let's refresh it. And there we go. Now we have the widget framework on the articles list. Now the forum index is actually going to look a bit different because it's not going to overwrite the, uh, the uh, built-in sidebar unless you put something in there. So let's move everything back to the right.
And just to show that it's uh, sh showing the widget framework, hold on. <laughs> I just sneezed. Apologize. All right, and let's see. And there we go. And we have recent threads at the tops. But as I said, it's empty. This is now using the widget framework. I can move things around. Let's get rid of these. Click save. And there we go. This is my form index now. It has a different sidebar, recent threads at the top, which, as usual, we can get rid of. All right. Now, on this website, I am using Zenrio, which is my live streaming add-on. And what I'm going to want to do is install the widget for that. Now, right now, there's only five pre-installed widgets. I'm going to click Install Widget. Now, I can choose a file, choose a file from the server, or by convenience, there are several files already included. And I'm going to select uh, Real Live. A uh, real live does require a third party add on, and when I try to install it, there will be a check for it. Uh, let's show an example of this and try to install Tiger Chat, which also requires a third party add on, which isn't installed. If I click install, it'll say unable to install Tiger widget, uh, missing prerequisite add on. So let's go back and install real live. Install. There we go, real live is installed. Now, this installs the widget. It doesn't add it to the actual layout. Let's add it to the layout. We're going to go back to the layout. We're going to click this nice link up here called Add Widget Link. And I'm going to do it uh, Live Streams. Name the title of it. And I'm going to select the Zenrio widget. Click Save. And it's automatically added. And let's drag it to the top. And then click Save again. And now when we refresh this, Hey, we now have a Zenrio widget. It was that easy to add it to the sidebar. I didn't have to, you know, uh, know any locations or anything. I just dragged it to where I wanted it to go. All right. So I mentioned before that we're using the articles list layout, which is a fallback. Um, if I want to have a layout that is only for, uh, let's say, the forums list, I just need to create one. Let's call it forums list, forum index, and the template. The template is uh, basically whatever template you're applying your widgets to. Now, uh, I made an easy list here of commonly used templates that most people would be interested in. Ar the articles template, the authors template, the forum index, the uh, forum view, thread view, and page note container. We're talking about the forum index here. So we're looking for the template forum list. So I'm going to start typing that in. Forum list. There you go. I'm going to set the layout priority to 10. And I'm going to copy the current contents of the articles list layout to make it easy. And click Save. Now I have a forums list. And this layout is actually different from my articles index. So this is my articles index. This is my forums list. Right now it looks the same, but it's actually a different layout. So if I were to rearrange those, put them in different orders, and then refresh, and then refresh this one, they're using different layouts. Oh, that's the old one. Okay, let's move it back because I like that. In fact, I don't even need this one because I'm going to be using it. And let's delete. Now let's show another example of a more customized layout. Let's say I have five forums, uh, four forums here. Let's say I want to add an HTML block to one of these forums. I want to add it to my announcements forums, which, which is forum node ID number two. So let's create a new layout ID called forum view two forum announcements and the template we're going to use is forum view we're using this template because I mentioned it here this is forum view it's the easy access template that you're always going to be using when you're viewing a forum view all right now evaluation is something that helps you limit where this layout is applied to 
Now, if I left it blank, this layout I'm creating would match every forum view. But I can put an eval together that will limit it. Now, eval is a very powerful function in PHP. It's a very dangerous function, too. So you should really only be doing this if you know exactly what you're doing. Thankfully, you have a whole bunch of people on Zenforo who will uh, on Zenforo.com, that is, who will help you figure things out if you don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to give you an example right here. I'm going to do params forum node ID equals double equals two. And that's it. I'm just going to check to see if the uh, node ID of forums in the params equals two. And if it is, it's going to make this layout. Now, I'm not copying the layout, so we're going to make a blank one. I'm going to add a widget link. I'm going to call it uh, raw HTML notice one. And I don't have a raw HTML block installed. So let's install that now. Install the widget. And let's install raw HTML. All right, so now we have our raw HTML block. And what I'm in here right now are the uh, the default settings for the raw HTML block. I can put lorem ipsum dolor sit amet in the contents, and then click save. There we go. That's saved. And let's go back to the layout. And let's add a widget link for the raw HTML. This is my my test block. Now I'm going to drag this right up above the form announcements. And so now we're going to refresh. And that didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because I got options, I did not enable the widget framework for forum views. Let's do that now. Okay, now it's enabled. Let's refresh. And there we go. Now I have my lorem ipsum block. Now it, the formatting is a little off. So for now, let's drag it to the right just so it looks nicer. We don't see how unsightly that is. All right, there we go. Now we have our sidebar block right here. And it says this is my text block. Now, I mentioned before about default settings. So if I go into widgets, anything I set here is going to be the default setting. Anywhere I place this block, these are the settings it's going to use. However, we have an uh, extra area here called option sets. And option sets are non-default options, uh, non-default settings for widgets that I can use on a piecemeal basis. So I have a raw HTML block that we set up before. Let's create an option set for it. Okay, so we have an option set. Right now, it's showing what was in the default areas. But let's create something new. This is a custom option set. And let's click Save. All right, so now we have a custom option set for raw HTML. Now, if we go back to our layout. As I said, anywhere I place this raw HTML block, it will use the default settings unless I select an option set. And I'm going to do that by clicking the, uh, what is that, a wrench? Yes, clicking the wrench right there. And now I have an option to select a custom option set. Now, if I leave it unspecified, it will use the default settings. But I'm going to use a custom option set, click Save, and then Refresh. And now we're using the custom settings for this block instead of the default settings. And this allows us to uh, replicate blocks without actually having to replicate the widget. So I can have five different raw HTML blocks all around my website, all with different content, without having to have five raw HTML widgets, just using a different option set each time. All right, so that was a quick and dirty example of how to customize layouts. I'll get into further details of other options you can use uh, later on. But for now, that was... Uh, uh, nice and fast, 15 minutes. I hope you guys enjoy Zamporta too. Peace out.